Hello everyone, Happy New Year! I know it's been a long time since I filmed uh, for this channel and the last video you've seen was actually a life update uh, of mine and so after that video um, I actually was so busy uh, with everything I announced in that video that I, I had literally uh, no space uh, to make YouTube videos so I thought to myself, okay, I'm, I'm just taking a break, come back uh, and make videos on this channel uh, in 2022, so here I am. Uh, we are starting the year with a goals video, so I will be talking to you guys about my goals for Japanese for this year. So here we, here we go, uh, today I'm filming with my phone and so I'm so sorry if I'm not looking directly at you sometimes and I'm tempted to look there and I'm so sorry so I will do my best and look right at you. Um, the first goal of mine this year uh, was to be done with GLPT study materials. I will not be sitting the GLPT this year. It's not that I don't want to shoot it because I think uh, the COVID restrictions are going to be a bit less. So probably I could sit it this year, but here we would be talking about sitting the GLPT N2 for me. And the thing is, I've already, um, I, I'm already over that level and um, I don't need the certification right now. But my point was more that uh, right now I'm, I'm studying for the N1 and I'm not, I will, there is no way in hell I will be ready to sit the N1 this year since I just started studying for it. And this is not possible, like I know uh, I will not be able to feel ready and comfortable by the end of this year, by the end of 2022 if, if I really wanted to, to sit it this year. I know it's not possible. so. It's not going to be a goal of mine for this year uh, to actually sit and pass the N1. Now, the first goal of mine was uh, be done with GLPT materials, which is a slightly different matter. Um, I, I'm, my goal with that is really to make sure I go through the textbooks for GLPT um, N1 then uh, uh, by the end of this year. Now, my second goal uh, is to con continue studying every day, but without logging in. Uh, this one is coming from the fact that for two years, uh, and I will make a video about this too, for two years I've been studying Japanese and I've been logging it and I've been uh, talking about it and, you know, posting pictures on my Instagram of my um, planner, of my study planner, showing that I was studying Japanese every day. Now, uh, for this year, I actually don't really want to continue this just because uh, I'm actually not at that level anymore where I really need to be extremely consistent with my studying and actually study and not only do immersion every day. So my point is more that I, I will continue studying or uh, doing immersion every day just because Japanese is so much a part of my life right now that I literally cannot avoid it. I cannot avoid uh, doing immersion every day. So um, my point is more that I will do this still, but I will not log it anymore. Uh, I will probably still have my study planner for this year, uh, but I won't be posting it on Instagram or you will maybe see like some uh, snippets of it uh, on my Instagram, but that's it. My third uh, goal for this year was to use Japanese to learn other things. This one is a, a big goal of mine actually this year and I'm actually I think this is the one I'm most excited about uh, just because I've been refraining from doing this um, so far uh, because if I had started doing this uh, before I actually would have um, learned things uh, and learned vocab uh, which were which would have been very specific and when you are uh, at beginner and intermediate level and before advanced level uh, in language you want to make sure that your vocab is as broad as possible and you have a you know a range uh, that is as broad as possible uh, also in terms of immersion material uh, but right now uh, I feel I'm 
comfortable enough with uh, the beginner and intermediate level of Japanese. And so now that I've reached advanced level, I really want to, uh, okay, still broaden, broaden my vocab and broaden my perspective and, you know, consume still as much immersion material as I can. But at the same time, I want to specialize and I want to use Japanese to learn specific uh, things the things I'm talking about uh, are going to be low. I want to learn more about science in Japanese. And then uh, the third thing uh, probably that I will learn about this year in Japanese is coaching. Now my fourth goal is to make more effort uh, to speak correctly and improve my overall language. Um, this one is a, is a bit of a hard one. Where I'm coming from is that actually these days, uh, and it's been like this for the past few months, um, I was not making that much effort uh, to do my sentences correctly uh, when I was speaking to people. You know, uh, as long as communication was established and people were understanding uh, what I was saying in Japanese, I was not making that much effort to actually speak uh, correctly, if that makes any sense. I know probably learners will understand what I'm saying, but it's just that I've been slacking off uh, with my grammar and speaking in a correct sentence structure uh, has been difficult for me. And I know it has directly been related to the fact that I was uh, tired and the, the more tired I am uh, the less correctly I speak uh, this there is a direct correlation uh, for me at least um, basically my brain is not able to do that effort when I'm tired now this year I really want to make sure I correct that uh, right away before I actually get bad habits and improve my overall language uh, by that I mean I need to improve my vocab uh, because I'm stuck at N3, N2 vocab and now I need to really improve my vocab and use new words and not only when I'm speaking but also when I'm writing and this is also a bit difficult to do because you know when you start in outputting in a language so using it uh, to speak and write before you are at an advanced level actually you get used to using a specific vocab and then you end up using always the same vocab. So changing up that vocab to something that is a bit more advanced and probably use different words to actually describe something that you would describe in two or three words, actually using that specific vocab word, uh, which will get rid of these one or two, one, two, three, four words uh, to express the same thing is the difficult part. And this year uh, I really want to, you know, put the accent on this and make sure that I get it right and that I improve my overall language level. My fifth goal uh, for this year is to value communication, cultural exchange and sharing knowledge and experience even more than before and I reflect all of that in what I study and how I study it. By that I mean basically to improve my communication skills. I want to make everyone feel comfortable speaking with me and telling me things. That's it. My sixth goal is uh, when speaking, become able to switch language levels more easily. So between casual, polite and extra polite. My seventh goal, and we are almost done guys, uh, is to continue inputting and outputting, but make sure to grow with it. Now, as I, as I said previously, I want to make sure that when I output, I actually output better, I want to say, so with better words, using words that are actually N1 level uh, or more or just any, any word that I've never used before, I want to make sure I can use it and I use it well in the right context. And my last goal, finally, is to take time to remember how much I love this language and I'm proud of myself of making so much effort to learn it. Yes, so this is the emotional part of it, but definitely I want to, you know, take a step back this year a bit more. It doesn't sound like it now that I've told all of my goals with the language before that, but 
it still makes sense in my head and I, I still think I, I will be able to do it. I am already able to do it. Uh, I want to reflect more on the fact that I have been learning Japanese uh, since 2019 and I've been loving Japanese since 2019. I, I still love this language. I love it so much that I study it every day. And I just want to reflect more on that and make sure I remember how much effort I put into the language and what I've been able to overcome and do so far with uh, the studying of the language. And that feeling of contentment is going to make me feel more relaxed about the whole thing in general and is going to help me in my language ability. I am sure of it. Uh, this is very clear to me that when, I'm, when I am uh, not tired, so when I am well rested and relaxed about my language ability and just my overall language knowledge, actually I am able to speak better and understand better and write better. And this is just improving in general my language ability when I'm stressed about it, when I'm stressed about what I'm, going, what I'm going to say, whether I'm going to understand, and when I'm tired on top of it, I, I cannot function under this kind of circumstance and under this kind of feeling, uh, just because it, it just in hinders my ability, which would uh, normally, in a normal uh, situation, be better, actually. to make sure that I give the best of myself this year. This year is uh, going to be more relaxed, uh, more reflective uh, of what I've already accomplished with Japanese for these past few years since 2019 and also I'm going to make more YouTube videos this year because now that I can you know slow down with the the actual studying, it means that I can also create more content about explaining to you guys uh, how I did it for the past two years and my, uh, explaining a bit more about my methods and just how I organize things. So it means you will be seeing a lot more of me on this channel this year. I'm very excited about it. Uh, I hope you are too. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.